Good afternoon. It's like two minutes since we last spoke, isn't it? And here we are on tile number 398. So what have we got for this one? A nice, not a simple one as such. They're all simple, if you, you know how, I suppose. But um, a nice pinky coloured tile. And I've added a little bit of ink to the bottom there. So I've got something going across this way. Um, you don't have to ink it. You don't have to use the same colour as me. You can use whatever you like. And let's have a look. I'm going to come straight in today with pen. Now, I know we've not been doing that for a while, but do you know what? You can do this. You've got this. It'll be fine. Absolutely fine. Are we ready to go? Okay. So first things first then. I'm going to sort of start on this side, but if you want to do there, it again, really doesn't matter. Oh, hi, we. And let's have a, a wander along. And who else have we got? Oh, I've got Shelley and Jackie and Louise and Alison. And there's classes at the weekend as well, so it's all go. Um, yeah, I've got some fabulous little things planned. Okay, so I've got one going off that way. I'm going to come up and I'm going to have one going off that way. Not too close to the edge because I'm going to put something on the top of it. And there we're going to go in. Put one here as well. Okay, just some little bubbles on the end there. All right, so let's move in a little bit. Now you've got the idea of that. Now, if you want to think where this is, that's the middle. That's the middle of my tile right there. So I've gone to the left slightly. But again, you honestly, you don't have to. It's fine. So let's do this one first. I'm going to come in and I want to put kind of um, a loop on that side. And a loop. So this maybe could be something you put on your tangle board when you get them. And then a little loop on the inside there, look. And a little loop on the inside there. I'm going to come in with a little, kind of a little heart shape there. And then on the edge, you ready? I'm going to come round and I'm going to make it sort of more loom-like there and there you see and then I'm going to put a little wavy kind of shape there and a wavy shape there okay let's have a little look at that oh Hazel but you know what now you've got to be doing it haven't you you've, you've got to go and have done what you need doing we'll all be thinking of you you'll be fine Okay, a little heart in the middle. And then all round. I'm gonna make that a little bit sort of a little bit wider there, see? And then a little bit wavy. A little bit wavy. Okay. So let's do the same on this one. So I'll loop on the side. Now you've got to be thinking about how wide you want these because we've got to get another loop in on each one. Then we need that kind of a heart shape in there. Yeah. And then we're coming around, making it a little bit sort of fatter on the edge. And then a little bit of a wave. And same there. Okay. That's something that's looking so bad. Okay. So just while we're, we're going to do a little wavy line down here, uh, Chris has very kindly put me a little survey on the Facebook group. And uh, I want you to have a look through your tiles and pick your favourite. I'm looking for my top 40. So I could go through and choose, but I thought it'd be kind of nice that you could have a look through. And if you want to pick one, if you could put it onto that post and uh, let me know what number then... If I can, I will include it with one of my projects. But we don't have a long time to do it. You know, a few days, maybe by uh, by the weekend, I need to sort of be making a start on it. So if you want to do that and you want to add one to it, have a look and let me know what you think. See, little waves. Right, so back down again. Now... Coming sort of up, let's do one stem at a time. I'll do one here. I'm going to come up with a line. Oh, let's go a bit bigger. Now I've just gone down. 
go a bit bigger. And then I'm going to come down and create like a little loop the side of it. See, let's do on this side. So quite long, come back down and then out. And then try this side again. Look long, back down and out. Long, back down and out. All the way down, see? Okay, let's move it down now. Same sort of thing on here, like long, back down and out. Long, back down and out. But I'm not counting them. I'm just putting them where I've got some little bits of space. It's absolutely fine. So you might find that you've got more than me. Or you might think, oh, I can't get that many in. That's fine too. Okay. It's nice though. So, I'm going to come in now. Let's have a look. Um, I'm going to bring in a bit of a line. So it doesn't have to be dead straight. It's going to go behind. Okay. And then this side, I'm going to start quite close and it's going to get even thinner as I work my way up. And again, just a little bit of a wobble on it. Okay. And then I'm going to come in with some dots. Now you notice, look how I'm filling them in. All sort of different sizes. Some are quite close and some are quite a bit of a distance. You see, and as I work further down, you see they're getting a little bit bigger. Some are not even sort of touching that line. So I've started, some are quite small up there, but these, I've still got some small ones, but I've got some larger ones going in there as well. Stir. Working my way down there, like so. So let's put another one of those in, it's not too far away, but I want it to be different sort of heights to that one, so I'm going to stop it there. And then in again to this one, see it's going to a point at the top. As just before, I'll add some bubbles on it. See how it's uh, some wander around. I'm keeping it within the, the sort of shape there. You, know, you can have one or two wandering off, but try and keep them uh, together if we can. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's bring another one of those lines in. I'm going to come here. I'm, I'm not going all the way across the, the piece today. So again, I want it at a different height. So I'm going to go quite tall with this one. And again, a little close at the bottom edge. And work our way along and we're going to a nice fine point at the top. So as before, let's add some of these little shapes in there. You see, just little bubbles as we're going. There we go. Oh, Maureen, that's because you do more tangling than any of us. That's what that is. Yeah, you have having too much fun. But yeah, it, it's really nice, isn't it? Opening a new pen. Yeah. Going with that. I did that yesterday, so I had a, a pack on the show. I'll open those. So, I think I've got varying sort of a pens all over the place and they do last for quite a while but, you know it depends on how much you use it doesn't it it's, you know you can't say how long a pen's gonna last it depends how much you're drawing and what you're drawing there you go so i'm gonna uh, come back to this one here and i'm gonna add a little curvy line like this and again quite close and it's going to go back and join to the point see and I can fill that bit in let's do another one of those a little bit further up perhaps not as much of a curve and then keep it thin at the top a little bit wider I know if it, oh that's the best thing isn't it opening a new tortillon it's all clean and pointed yeah, I know these small things, but it, they make us happy. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, Vicky. Do we need to chill you out a little bit then? Is that what it is? Yeah. Writing letters to the council. I right, see. Okay. Oh, go on, Louise. Open it. Open a tortillon. I dare you. Brand new one. See, keep it quite thin at the top. I can get back down. All right, so um, nice thing that I can cross over here because they are all co covered with ink. I can do that. The only thing that we've got to be careful of is we don't want to go over the bits we drew earlier. Because as daft as it sounds, we drew the foreground first. So here we go. So some of them are, are quite bendy some of them a little bit straighter okay you see a little, oh, little bit thicker there and then let's have one up here see that one's a little bit straighter but that's fine it's nice to have some working their way around Oh, it's lovely to see lots of new names today. Hello, everybody. Um, please ne never worry about being late. I'm not going to mark you down as with a red mark in your book. <laughs> you know, this is, video is going to stay, so you can catch up as and when. It's fine. All right. See, this is in the midair at the minute. We've not done it right to the end. So if I turn it round, and I'm going to bring in a slight wobble of a line, but break it up a little bit. See, it's got little breaks in it. And do another one underneath, you see? It just gives it that little air of, it's sort of sat on something, okay? So um, I'm gonna bring a bit of colored pencil in at this point because I think it's nice that we've, we've got this lovely picture, but you, you really need to bring these leaves and this flower out to the front. So if I just sort of zoom in a little bit, let's have a look at what we've got. Now, I know we've got, um, Look at the orange and pinks going on here and leaves, yeah, normally green. But I'm going to bring in a little bit of um, the browns. You know, it is winter, we want that kind of a colour. So I'm going to bring in my dark oak for a start and uh, add just a little bit to the bottom. Now, if you're wanting to use a regular pencil and use your tortillon, that's fine. You're going to add your pencil where I've added this dark brown. And then use your tortillon to soften it off. But I'm going to bring in a... Was it all my leaves? Thing? That was not take long, did it? Wrong on. Yeah, look. So there's the one there, look. Well, there is now. There you are. <laughs> uh, and so let's, let's bring in my teak. And finish that off a little bit. I'm working the two. That's where you bring your tortillon in. And you wouldn't... Um, fill the whole thing, you just soften it off a little bit. But there you go, see that's kind of nice. And it depends what colour you're working on. You can go bright spring greens if you want. I'm going to keep it quite sort of uh, warm if I can. So that brings me to these little pieces underneath the flower. And I'm going to go with quite a, a favourite of mine. You know you go through favourites, it's a little bit of khaki. Um, because I don't want it sort of real... Say bright springy green. Just gonna add a little bit in there. Not all the way to the end, because then I can bring my white in. Oh Rose, I know. So like things like the, the brown sugar is just lovely. No, we don't use it a lot, I know. Actually, let's bring a bit of that in. The same bring a bit of that in. That is mine. I'm, I mean I've got about four sets. Ah, oh, there it is. So we could use a little bit of that on the end, look. So instead of it being a stark white, you can see help it to blend in a bit. It's giving it a little bit of a more a warmer colour. Uh -huh. I know more in some of mine, I mean my uh, I'm on my second white, but look at look, my citrus yellow. Hang on a second. Bless it. If I actually bring in um oh, I suppose I've got most of my dark oak if you look 
yeah, a bit of a difference. But you know what? I've been using these all year and I use them most days. So it it's surprising, isn't it, that uh, you find how these work. So, okay, let's have a look. My mid peach. I'm going to bring mid peach in. And I'm going to add a little bit to the bottom there. And that one. Okay, now the centre, I'm going to keep it all the same colour. So in the centre, I'm going to add a little bit to the one side of that heart shape. And oh, little bits there. And there. And then on there. And then this one. And in there. You see? So then I look for my light peach. And then take in the next colour. So that's working in quite nicely with that little bit of inking in the uh, the background there. Bringing that in. Okay. Same here. Now it's going to look a bit different here because it's on the pink rather than that orange ink that I've got going on there. I'll add in a little bit in there. You know, this all these colouring in techniques, you know, and I know you've got your own way of doing it. You don't have to copy mine. But if it's something you've never done and you're struggling with a little bit, it's kind of nice, isn't it, to bring that in, do something. So, again, usually we would put a bit of white in there, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to bring in, let's have a look. I'm going to bring in my light orange and extend that a bit. So you, oh, that was a little bit of a colour on the end. So let's work those in together. So you're getting this almost kind of glow from it rather than it being too sort of stark with the white. It works most of the time, but sometimes you want a little bit of subdued. <clears throat> now, now, Boreen. <laughs> Just send her a list. That's what my mum does. Just send her a list. Okay. And the same here. Now it's it's so everybody's colours different, but it's nice to do these colours and then bring a little bit of darkness in. Let's have a little look at this. Oh, oh, doesn't want to zoom out. There you go. So at this point, I'm going to bring in. Let's have a look. I'm going to bring in my uh, claret, or actually, I could bring in oh, my mahogany. Okay, and let's add a little bit to the bottom there. So I'm going over it a couple of times. I'm not really pressing on, I'm just sort of working it in. You see the difference there now, it's starting to bring that little bit in and just a tad in the heart there. Right. Rose, yes, I use clouds. Um, I've used, oh, what colours did I use? Um, I've used my regular orange one as that tangerine. And then there's a, like a, a chalky based one. That's some, uh, I can't remember the name of it. Something terracotta-ish. Okay. You see? Might add a little bit of red. See, just in the bottom, let's go in a bit. Look at the difference, see, just there in that, in that bottom section. And uh, bringing that in. So uh, it just enhances that bottom bit so that's there you go all right so i think as well it just needs a little bit of something here doesn't it so i'm going to come back in with that dark oak and just ever so gently at that top edge add a little bit of it So no shading really with pencil today, although we can actually come in and do a little, little bit on the ground here, but it didn't really need much. So just little sections in there. And then in with our tortillon. And along we go. Okay. So more or less, that's sort of done, I think. Um, one more thing I'd like to do, if I've uh, got one handy, 
in a second. Yes, so I'm going to bring my, do I want to have my white pen in? Yeah, I do. So, a little bit of a white gel pen here to make sure it works. And just on a couple of these uh, sort of shapes, just a couple look. Let's have a look. See? Now, I know I said white would be quite stark there, but we, we just want to do it on a few. So don't get carried away and do all of them. And it just brings those little shapes to life. Just a little dot on them, just a little bit. Yeah, maybe one, two there, look. So yeah, absolutely rose. And I think, you know, in this weather, I know it's warmed up a little bit, but it's just nice to have that little bit of essence, isn't it? Got a couple of little uh, bubbles wandering off. Nothing crazy, just a few. And it shows sometimes you don't have to fill the whole thing. Just having that little hint there makes all the difference. So there you go. Number 398. So, of course, Friday 399. Tuesday is the 400th. So definitely get yourself some cake this weekend ready for Tuesday. So, all right. Loving this one. I'm really pleased that you've managed to join me today, especially that we're doing the advent tiles at the same time. So if you've not seen that, did it this morning, it's already on there so you can have a look at it. But other than that, enjoy this one and I will catch you again tomorrow for our regular little uh, advent tiles and then Friday for the next one of these. So, okay, have a great afternoon, everybody, and stay safe and I'll see you soon. Okay, take care. Bye.